YouTube channel. My name is Toby Wonder. I'm the CEO and founder of Mainstream Academy. And basically, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can buy Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies on Binance.com. I know a couple of us are familiar with the Binance app, and so we don't use the web version, but there's actually so many other features that you are um that are available to you on the web platform that are not available to you on the mobile platform. So today I'll be showing you guys that. So without wasting your time, let's get into the topic of today. Okay, so first and foremost here, I'm logged in on I'm logged in on my Binance.com app on my Binance.com site. Sorry. So basically, you need to be logged in. I already logged in because I didn't want anybody stealing my um uh, login details already. So I did that part already. So once you come to Binance.com, all you have to do is log in. It's going to do a couple of security check, send you some OTPs, and then you put that in, and then you are logged in. So when when you log in on the home page, this is what it looks like on the home page. Okay. So um. So right now on the home page, this is where I am. I'll be showing you guys um some cool features, okay? But most importantly, I want to show you guys how you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies on this platform, okay? So now um there's one feature I need you guys to check out here. If you on the home page, if you look at the bottom right corner, you see this support um um button. This particular space allows you to contact support whenever you have issues on your um Binance. Anything that has to do with like maybe selling your coin or any issue that you have there's this platform that allows you to get that issue resolved by directly contacting support and discussing your um, dispute with them okay so there's that feature here there's that feature here now let's go straight into the business of today and that is how you buy and sell crypto so now we are going to i'm going to show you guys how you can buy and sell crypto through p2p because in most countries there's a limit on your card so there's a limit to how much of um cryptocurrencies you can buy using your card so one of the biggest ways to accumulate or purchase very um high amount of cryptocurrencies and other digital assets is through p2p okay so this is where you just um get somebody on the app who is willing to sell and that person gives you an offer and then you take that offer you make payment for that offer and then you claim your coin or your assets okay so that platform is available on this platform and also on the web platform and also on the mobile app but this is a web-based platform and let me show you guys how that thing works on the web so right now on the home page you come to trade and on that trade it shows you this drop down menu and then you have p2p right here p2p stands for pay to pay transfer okay so this is where you can come and start buying your crypto so if you click on this place okay it's going to take you to um, this page where you get to see the offers available for your region and people will have offers for you okay this is showing you an important notice but just read through and then you click on okay okay I'm closing this because I've already checked this before so I know what it entered but for you take your time to check this out okay so now basically now I'm on this page um, I'm not buying I'm, I'm buying uh, let me say BTC for instance okay Bitcoin uh, sorry USDT okay let me do this USD Okay, I'm buying USDT already, sorry. Okay, so you have to do this and then you have to confirm. But then this is USDT right here. Now this is buy, so I'm on the buy and this is sell, okay? So if you are selling, you need to click on this button. If you are buying, you need to be on this button, okay? So basically, let's say I'm buying for instance. I will show you guys the example for buyers and example for sellers. So let's say I'm buying USDT for instance, or let's say I'm buying Bitcoin for instance. So right now it's on USDT by default. All, all I have to do is click on BTC. Now I'm trading BTC and no longer trading USDT. And so you can do the same for other currencies like BUSD, BNB, ETH, and so on. Okay, so basically when you click on the BTC option, all right, it shows you various offers that are available. These offers represent um, sellers who are willing to sell their BTC at a given price. Now, each of these prices may and may not vary, but usually each of these prices vary because each of these sellers have the price at which they want to sell their coins to you. So all you have to do is look through the sellers that you think um, their price is suitable for you and then choose that seller and then you sell to them. But before selling to them, there are, other, there are some things you need to take note of. Now I'll show you guys that. So now, Binance is a very safe app, okay? And I like to think like everybody on Binance is here to make um, legitimate money and not be fraudulent. But at the same time, you have to keep in mind that you are dealing with people that you don't know. And, you know, people, some people do have... Um, Characters that you really don't want to, you know, get um, mixed up in. So you have to be sure, and you have to keep yourself safe while trading, irrespective of the fact that it is Binance. You need to keep yourself safe, and I'll show you guys how you can keep yourself safe on Binance. Things to look out for, and things to um, make sure that you try and do when you're trading on Binance. Okay. Uh, so now, first and foremost, you want for instance, this is these are offers, okay, that are available right now for BTC buyers okay so if you want to buy btc right now as of today this is the offer that you see anywhere that you are in the world okay so now this 
first person here javier crypto okay a verified account that is nice okay this person has actually done 1821 others okay and has a hundred percent completion rate now this is superb okay this person automatically gives you comfort this order gives you peace because you know trading with this person means you will get value and then you will get like what you are paying for okay but then you can see somebody right here i'm not saying this person is fraudulent or right but i'm just trying i'm just trying to use this person for as an example this person only has 29 others and has a 100 percent completion rate but then the others are not much so you really haven't given the, the the market hasn't really given this person so many tries you get so you don't want to just trust this person all of a sudden you want to look for somebody who has a high amount of others and um, a very good completion rate, at least 80% or at, at most, at least 75% completion rate, okay? So this is very, very um, safe and this is very, very convenient as far as I think, okay? And then you have somebody here with 500 and something others and then this person has 92% completion and this is, this is really nice, okay? So now if you need to take note of these two things before trying to select who you want to trade with. Now on the other hand, you need to come here. Put in the amount you want to trade. For instance, let's say we are trading like a hundred thousand dollars. Okay, that's like a little bit on the high side. Let's say one thousand dollars for instance, and then you click on search, and then you click on okay, um, USD, and then you click on all payments. Now, if you click on all payments here, it shows you all the payments available worldwide. Okay, so these are people who are willing to sell, and this is the payment platform that they want. Some buyers do not have access to some payment platform. So buyers and um, so some sellers other do not have access to some payment platform. So some sellers actually like to define how you get to pay them okay so if i click on uh, let's say avd cash for instance automatically it's going to filter these others and bring me people that only want this avd avd cash payment luckily for us we have javi crypto here but let me show you something let me do another payment option and then you might not actually see this person again okay exactly so now after choosing this as a payment option here yeah, we no longer have Xavier then which means that um um Savvy does not have this payment platform, okay, and you, you can't pay him this way. But let's say I'm doing um um all payments for instance, just for example, okay. Let's say I'm doing all payments because I wanted to bring back all the options that I have so I can explain to you guys, okay. So right now we have Shavi back on top, okay. Let's say I'm buying from Shavi. I come here and I click on buy after inputting the amount which I want to buy. So now you come here and then you put okay how many you want to buy. You want to pay him one thousand or let's say um you want to pay him five hundred for this because it's limits it's limited around six eighty. Okay. So now this is how much you receive and this is how much you pay. Okay, and this is how you buy. But now um I'm not exactly buying because I don't need um BTC right now. I'm just using this as a as a tutorial purpose to indicate you guys to show you guys how this works, okay? So if you click on buy. It's going to take you to the page where it's going to ask you to um, verify that you've made payments. It's going to show you the, the seller's bank account and their payment options so you can choose from and then make payments, okay? But then, very important, it's going to show you a box where you get to tick and say that you've made payments. Now, even before making your payments, please go on that platform and click on you've made payments. And this is why I want you guys to um, do that because this is very crucial and important. So, oftentimes, people actually come on the Binance platform. They make payments, but before getting to click on um, the option that says, okay, they've been able to make payments, their network gets bad and then takes a while before their network comes back on, before they can get reconnected to the platform. And on the other hand, the seller might have canceled the trade or the trade might have automatically closed because each, each trade has a certain time frame at which it runs, okay? And if that happens, Binance has no record that you paid the um, seller and the seller the seller might have received the funds but they don't have anything to send you by because they literally have no idea who you are or how to reach you you understand so it's always very important to click on the payment first before you actually send out the payment so this is it for um, buyers now let's go to sellers so if you are on, if you are trying to sell the converter you will come here let's say you're trying to sell bitcoin um to other users on the on the platform so now these are people that are willing to buy and this is the offer this is how much they are ready to pay for one unit of BTC, this person is willing to pay that one thousand USD. Okay, the same way we look at the um, others they've done, and then the fulfillment, um, the completion rate. You also need to take that into consideration. The same way, and then you come here and click on sell BTC. So if you click on sell BTC, okay, if you click here, it's going to ask you how much you want to sell. You put in maybe like four hundred dollars. Okay, okay, let's say like one thousand. Okay, the maximum is a thousand. Okay, let's say one. No. I want let's say I want like 150 okay 
so for this i'm going to walk you to dollars okay and then you're going to click on sales so when you click on sell um, this button here allows you to set your payment method so here you can set how you want to get paid okay you can choose how you want to get paid and so that the, the buyer would have your payment info and will be able to send you payments you understand and after you receive the payments you receive notification on your binance app on your mail and maybe through text depending on if you have text um notification enabled on your binance app okay and then once you confirm the payment all you have to do is to release the coin so basically guys this is how it works on binance.com this is how you trade um cryptocurrencies on binance.com if you guys want a more index and a more advanced um tutorial on this particular topic you guys should let me know in the comment section i'll be i'll do it to actually give you guys um a, a probably longer video and an extensive one on how to trade on binance.com probably do a practical buying and selling for you guys but only if you guys want it so let me know in the comment section below and then um, if, you, if you like this kind of content please don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up okay thank you very much guys it's a pleasure to have you guys and i hope i hope, I hope to see you guys again on this channel Bye.